Rose, you're active on Twitter and uh, Facebook, and I noticed you being really emotional about Lemmy Kimister and about David Bowie. Mm -hmm. What did these uh, these artists mean to to you? Well, Lemmy was our friend. Yes, yeah, we 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 were actually quite close to Lemmy because he was one of those people that was a great supporter of the band, but he was also a great friend. And because we were always touring and Motorhead were the same kind of you know, set of people. We played with them, you know, I went on stage and played with the band a couple of times as well, and um, we went out with them, partied with him, we were his favourite band, uh, you know, it was, we were actually really quite close to him, and unlike a lot of rock and roll people where you meet for one minute in a bar and you go, hey, he's my friend, you know, Stephen Tyler's my friend, you meet him once. We met him a lot of times, over 20 years, he's a great supporter, he was a really kind person, and he's really good, so... We were very sad, and yesterday we were at a radio station, and they played us Lemmy's last interview a few weeks ago, and he said he's one of his favourite bands, was kind of and it was very emotional oh, to yeah. hear it. Yeah, to um, hear his voice yeah. was... So, you know, we were both in tears, actually. Very, well. very sad, and I think it's a loss because he was an icon, and he was a person that followed his own, you know, track and lived his life the way he wanted to, which a lot of people don't do, so that's, that's why he's iconic. But... The skin said he lived his life. He did what he did. He knew he was going to go out at some point with a bang, and that was what he did. But Bowie was a, was a different kind of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean Bowie was kind of twofold because obviously Motorhead were a musical influence, um, and and Bowie obviously personally, I think that if you didn't like Bowie's music, you know, you probably were a shit band, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, uh, he influenced everybody artistically. I think Bowie's music was so uh, different in many, many... Exactly, you know, yeah. many different eras, you know. He, so he, whether you play this or that... Like, if you couldn't some find point, something yeah. in there, then, you know, if you couldn't find an influence in there, an inspiration in there, on lots of different levels, uh, musically, also looks-wise, video-wise, he was in movies, did lots of different things. So there's that, there's that, you know, that's sad to have that lost because he was still releasing music, you know. But also at the same time, it's like we actually did a few gigs with him. And so we knew him, we knew him on and, you know, we'd taken planes with him and taken bus rides with him. And, you know, he'd sung one of our songs at his concert, you know, when we were supporting him at That's a festival nice, yeah. and was really cheeky about it, you know. And those are really lovely memories. I got pictures with him and, and so, so someone you know, someone you've met, someone you know a few times, so it's, it's twofold, you know. Um, Scott Whalen from Stone Temple Pilots also passed, and he was a big influence in terms of Skunk and sound. We love Stone Temple Pilots, you know, but I didn't personally know him. I never met him, so it's, it's slightly different, you know.